Today I'm back in Neuron Writer. The reason I wanted to do this short Neuron Writer video is because they've added a feature to the tool called Entities. So in the past, when we were doing SEO optimizations in Neuron Writer, we had basic and extended text terms. So for example, I did a content query in Neuron Writer called Golden Retriever with Young Child in the Home. And I gave it a title. I gave it a meta description here. So you can see that. Now, typically what we would try to do is we would take basic text terms and extended text terms that are very much related to our content query. And we would try to put as many of these in our article as we can to try to boost this SEO score. But another piece of SEO that Neuron Writer didn't talk about was entities. So when we look at entities, entities are concepts that are related to this query that we did, golden retriever with young child in the home. So when you click on entities, you'll see all of these various concepts around this topic. So they're not more terms that contain golden retriever or contain child. They're concepts around the species of golden retriever, the concept of pet ownership, children, retriever, puppy, pet, energy, behavior, breed, dog training, exercise. It's got temperament. It's got animal, social behavior. It's got empathy, nonverbal communication, bite inhibition. These are all concepts around this content query. So what do I mean by entity SEO? Basically, all I did is I went into my favorite search engine, which happens to be perplexity.ai. So, so I asked Perplexity to just share five key things about entity SEO for beginners, and this is what it gave me. Entity SEO helps search engines understand the topics and concepts of your website rather than just focusing on specific keywords. So instead of keyword stuffing a page, we're also adding words and phrases that are conceptual around the topic that we're writing about. To help search engines understand what your site is about, instead of repetitively using keywords like dogs, puppies, and pet care, you know, entity SEO is going to involve clarifying the broader concept or entity of dogs. And the way that you do this is you provide some detailed information about dogs, you know, breeds, behaviors, care needs, anything that relates to dog food, dog toys, veterinarians. So search engines recognize that your site is an authoritative source on the topic of dogs as an entity. And so the more that your content is truly about the core entity of dogs, the more likely it is that search engines will reveal those pages when they're returned in the SERPs. So in other words, when people search for anything dog related, they'll find your pages, even if they don't match the exact keywords that they type in to the search engine itself. And lastly, entity SEO is about optimizing for concepts and entities, not just keywords. And it's gonna help search engines grasp what your content is actually about at a deeper level. So this doesn't just affect your article, it affects your whole site. And using these conceptual words throughout your whole site helps a search engine understand what your niche is really about and what kind of information you're really trying to bring forward to people. So back in Neuron Writer, what I went ahead and did is, if you've looked at any of my other videos, you know that when you have these basic and extended text terms, you're able to copy them. So I did that. But in this case, really the only thing that I copied out of the basic and extended text terms was just the basic terms themselves. I did not use the extended text terms because I'm trying to avoid the appearance of keyword stuffing. So I copied the basic text terms. I went into entities and I also copied all the entities. Then I added them into a Google document. So here are the, all of the entities. Here are all the basic terms. Now, the one thing that you really want to do with both the basic terms and the entities is to make sure that they all make sense for your article. So there were some entities in here that I took out, like one of the entities was hunting because golden retrievers are a hunting dog, but that doesn't have anything to do with 
golden retrievers as a pet for children. So I removed hunting. I removed a few other entities that just didn't make sense for the article that I was trying to write. I went ahead and I wrote that article. I wrote it in SEO writing. It's a tool that I like to use. And when I put it together in the SEO section, these are the basic terms and these are the entities from Neuron Writer. I use that to create my article. And here's the article that Neuron Writer wrote based on the information that I entered, both the entities, both the basic text terms. Scroll through here, you can see, see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and copy this and pull it into Neuron Writer. And I wanna see what kind of optimization score we were able to achieve. Pop back over to Neuron Writer. Let's go ahead and copy it in. Now, remember, I already had the title in. I had the meta description in. I just added the article and we're at a 60. So let's see how we do from a keyword stuffing standpoint. Is there anything that stands out that we need to be concerned about? So to see that, you need to go back over to your basic and extended text terms here. Those all look good. It's all green, a few yellows. The only one that you might want to look at is this one that's for the term breeder. You might go in your article and look for, look for another way to say breeder to bring this down to one to two instances. But other than that, it all looks good. We've got a score of 60. The highest of all selected competitors when I did the content query had a 66. The, the top 10 in Google had an average score of 40 and we're at a 60. So that's really good. There's no keyword stuffing, this looks good. Let's just double check our headings and make sure they're all in the green. And they are all in green. And the way that I might boost the score if I was concerned about getting to a 66 is I might go into some of these headings, these H2s, and see if there is a way that I could possibly change them and use some of these H2 and H3 terms. That could boost the score a few points. But where we're at right now, I think we're good. Now, the other piece of this, of course, with any article that's been generated with AI, you want to go in, you want to fact check it. You also want to make sure and add your personal expertise. Just remember that entities help search engines better understand the concept of your website, what it's all about. You can use broader concepts and broader terms for your niche rather than always keyword stuffing your pages search engines start to recognize your site as an authoritative source on your topic. The more that your content is truly about the core entity of your niche, the more likely it is that search engines are going to show those pages to people that are searching for topics that are related to your niche. And so it's about optimizing for concepts and entities, not just keywords. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, make sure you go out to MikeShuey.com and do that. There's a link to AppSumo. Neuron Writer is available as a lifetime deal at AppSumo. I am an affiliate. If you make a purchase, I'm going to make a small commission. If you found this useful, make sure and subscribe and like and feed that YouTube algorithm for me. So until next time, take care.